Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, it's been a while since uploading any videos on the channel here, uh, but I'm slowly getting back into making more videos. And really I'm trying to make a dent in all the uh, lessons planned for my upcoming Solutions Architect Associate course, which will be uh, one of my focus areas over the next few months. There's been lots of new subscribers on the channel here since my last video. Uh, and I wanna thank you so much for your support and encouraging comments. It's been amazing to hear about so many people passing their cloud practitioner exams from the uh, training course on the uh, channel, uh, as well as through the cloudvikings.io site and using my CCP and SAA practice exams to help prepare for the certification exams. Now, as I mentioned, I'm putting together an AWS Solutions Architect Associate uh, certification training course. And this video here is a compilation of a bunch of individual lessons from a section of that course. Uh, in this video, I'll provide uh, short three to four minute introductions to all the AWS services you need to know from the security, identity, and compliance categories that are in scope for that Solutions Architect Associate exam. The lessons from this course section are just meant to introduce you to the services you need to know. Uh, I quickly explain what each service does and a few of its main benefits. And I think this video will be a great if you're starting to study for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification Exam or even the uh, Cloud Practitioner Exam as well. The lessons here will help you get that baseline understanding of all the security, identity, and compliance services in scope for the SAA exam. Now, I feel this video will also be a great type of rapid fire exam cram or review, uh, quickly covering all the AWS services in scope for the Solutions Architect Associate Certification Exam, again, within that security, identity, and compliance grouping of services. Now, keep in mind these lessons here are just quick intros to the services in the context of the uh, full course I'm putting together. The intent is that there'll be uh, later lessons in the course that'll continue to dive a lot deeper in these services uh, and then further lessons tying together all these foundational concepts together and building out some example scenarios to really get you familiar with how all the services work and how to use them together to design working solutions based on AWS best practices. The course layout is designed in layers to help build that baseline understanding first and uh, keep diving deeper to ensure you're prepared for the exam and more importantly for the real world where you can demonstrate your hands-on skills. These intro lessons from uh, this video here are really part of that first foundational layer. Now, I'm in the early development phases of the uh, course itself, but I do have it available as an early bird discount right now for just $2.99. Uh, there's a lot of lessons there already, but uh, many more to come. Just be aware that uh, it'll likely be a few months before the entire course is complete if you decide to pick up the course early, uh, but you'll certainly get access to uh, any new lessons as they become available. Now, with all that, I'll cut over to the lesson videos covering all the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Security, Identity, and Compliance services that are in scope for the SAA certification exam. Now, if the video provides you some value as part of your study journey, uh, please go ahead and like the video. And if you're not subscribed already, uh, please consider doing so, as I'll have a lot more content on the channel in the near future that you definitely don't want to miss. Also, please remember to comment in the video and let me know what you think about the lessons. I really appreciate the feedback and I certainly use it to help make future videos even better. Uh, so again, thanks so much for watching and let's get into those lessons. In this section of the course, we're going to start covering all the security, identity, and compliance areas that are in scope for the Solutions Architect Associate Exam. Again, the lessons in this section of the course will just be an introductory look at all the uh, security, identity, and compliance areas. Uh, we'll just get that bird's eye view of all the uh, services and features in scope for the exam. Uh, and then in later domains in the course, we'll get into more technical depth and some uh, hands-on experience with them as well. Uh, so let's dive in. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll introduce AWS Artifact, which is a key service offered by AWS to enhance your understanding of security and compliance within the AWS ecosystem and really help organizations collect the information they need for their own compliance certification goals. Now, AWS Artifact is a self-service central repository that provides AWS customers with on-demand access to AWS security and compliance documents and reports. This service is essential for understanding AWS's adherence to global compliance frameworks, 
making it easier for customers to ensure their AWS workloads meet their strict regulatory requirements and standards. Now, AWS Artifact is essentially just a, a collection of these audit artifacts. Uh, and these documents serve as evidence of AWS's compliance with various regulatory standards uh, and offers critical insights for organizations through their own audit processes. So for organizations preparing for uh, an internal audit or to demonstrate compliance with external regulations, uh, AWS Artifact provides all the necessary documentation right at your fingertips. Now, another significant benefit of AWS Artifact is its ease of use and accessibility. Uh, AWS customers can just access the AWS Artifact directly from the AWS Management Console. And this allows for quick retrieval of all these uh, AWS compliance documents and artifacts, uh, and agreements, and other important security information. This immediate access simplifies the task of uh, compliance management, uh, enabling organizations to really focus more on the core business functions while staying compliant with regulatory requirements. So anytime you need to look into AWS compliance aspects, or you're ever involved in any type of uh, security or compliance audit related to your AWS cloud environments, um, or you see any type of compliance documentation or verification types of exam questions, the AWS Artifact Service should be top of your mind. Uh, and that's it for this intro lesson. Uh, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. In this lesson, we'll look at an essential service for managing compliance within the AWS cloud. Uh, the service I'll introduce here is called AWS Audit Manager. Now, AWS Audit Manager really simplifies the process of auditing your AWS environment against a variety of regulatory and compliance requirements, uh, just making it easier for organizations to prepare for audits with a lot less effort and time. AWS Audit Manager helps us out by automating a lot of the evidence collection process. It allows us to quickly assess our AWS environments and our workloads against pre-built or custom compliance frameworks. Audit Manager helps streamline the audit preparation process just by providing a clear framework that maps your AWS resource configurations and activities to specific compliance requirements. All this just helps ensure that we can continuously audit our AWS usage over time, uh, helping us to reduce the complexity and the manual effort typically associated with preparing for a compliance audit. One of the key benefits of AWS Audit Manager is just that ability to automate the collection of evidence. Uh, and this can be a huge time saver for organizations undergoing that audit process. All this evidence collection automation just means that we can schedule and run these different assessments and continuously monitor our compliance with all these various standards and regulations, uh, all without that need for the manual evidence collection. AWS Audit Manager also provides a dashboard for tracking the status of our assessments and identifying gaps in compliance and uh, just managing those audit findings. AWS Audit Manager is particularly beneficial for organizations that operate under these strict regulatory requirements. Uh, just again, by automating all these compliance checks and evidence collection, it helps enable organizations to maintain a strong compliance posture, uh, reducing the risk of non-compliance, um, where these can often lead to fines or other penalties and help streamline that entire audit process. So in summary, AWS Audit Manager is a powerful tool for simplifying the whole audit and compliance process in your AWS environments. Uh, it provides automation, uh, continuous monitoring, and detailed reporting in the dashboarding uh, really to help you manage your compliance effectively and efficiently. And that's it for this quick intro on AWS Audit Manager. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Welcome back, everyone. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the AWS Certificate Manager or ACM service. Now, this ACM service is designed to just simplify the management of our SSL and TLS certificates. Uh, so we'll get into a bit of the details here and understand how AWS ACM can uh, help benefit us as AWS customers. So AWS Certificate Manager is a service that eliminates the complexity of creating, uh, storing, and managing our uh, public and private SSL and TLS certificates for all our AWS-based websites and applications. Uh, these certificates are used to secure our network communications and establish the identity of our websites over the internet. Uh, with ACM, you can easily provision and manage and deploy your certificates, 
ensuring our web applications are trusted and encrypted. One of the key features of AWS ACM is its integration with other AWS services. Uh, as an example, you can use our um, ACM certificates with uh, Elastic Load Balancers, uh, Amazon CloudFront, Amazon API Gateway, and a lot of other services that uh, require our uh, SSL and TLS certificates. This integration capability just allows us for seamless deployment and management of our certificates, uh, making it easier to secure our applications. Now, AWS ACM also automates the renewal process of our certificates, uh, just removing the manual process of having to do all that renewal before they expire. Uh, and this ensures that our applications remain secure with valid certificates, reducing the risk of downtime or introducing security vulnerabilities associated with expired certificates. ACM also allows for the management of both public and private certificates. Uh, public certificates are issued by ACM's built-in certificate authority and are trusted by most browsers and operating systems. Private certificates issued by a private certificate authority or uh, CA are created with the uh, AWS Certificate Manager Private Certificate Authority. Uh, these are typically used for internal network and uh, different internal applications. They don't really require public trust. Uh, AWS Private CA helps organizations with their public key infrastructure uh, just by providing a managed service so there's no upfront investment and maintenance of creating your own private certificate authority. And AWS Private CA helps with the whole uh, PKI lifecycle management as well. So in summary, the AWS Certificate Manager or ACM service streamlines the process of managing our SSL and TLS certificates from provisioning to deploying uh, and to renewal as well. Uh, and this integration with other AWS services and support for both uh, public and private certificates make it a really comprehensive solution uh, for securing our AWS-based applications and services. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next lesson. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be exploring AWS Cloud HSM, a service designed to enhance data security for AWS customers. Uh, Cloud HSM provides a highly secure and compliant way to store, manage, and use encryption keys within the AWS Cloud. AWS Cloud HSM is a cloud-based hardware security module, or HSM, that offers secure cryptographic key storage for users. It's a service that's designed to meet corporate contractual and regulatory compliance requirements for data security by using dedicated single tenant HSMs within the AWS cloud itself. One of the primary benefits of AWS cloud HSM is that it gives you total control over your encryption keys. Your keys are stored in these hardware HSMs that are designed and validated to government standards for secure key management. Uh, and this is crucial for applications that require this high level of security and compliance. AWS Cloud HSM is designed to be compatible with a wide range of applications, providing industry standard APIs. This all means that AWS Cloud HSM can be easily integrated into existing applications without significant changes. AWS Cloud HSM also supports a variety of cryptographic tasks, uh, including key generation, uh, encryption, decryption, uh, signing, and verification. Uh, really making it a versatile tool for managing cryptographic operations in the AWS cloud. So to recap, the AWS HSM service provides a secure compliance solution for cryptographic key storage and operations, offering complete control and management of our encryption keys within the AWS cloud environment. Uh, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next lesson. Welcome to this lesson where we'll be taking a quick look at the Amazon Cognito service. Now, Amazon Cognito is a powerful service offered by AWS that simplifies the process of handling customer identities and access management for both mobile and web applications. It's really designed to provide a secure and frictionless way for developers to manage user authentication and authorization, enabling them to focus more on building the core features of their applications. Now, Amazon Cognito offers a streamlined approach to user authentication and access management for, again, both web and mobile applications. 
Now, this service can really help uh, developers looking to incorporate users sign up, uh, sign in, and access control into their applications without compromising on security or the user experience. The Amazon Cognito service stands out for its ability to offer a frictionless customer identity and access management experience. It comes packed with advanced security features for, again, users sign up and sign in, uh, ensuring that your application remains secure against common threats. And this service is built to be highly scalable with a uh, user directory that can accommodate millions of users without really breaking a sweat. Uh, Cognito also supports federated sign-in capabilities, allowing integration with various social and enterprise identity providers. Uh, so you can use social identity providers like uh, Facebook, uh, Google, Apple, and Amazon, uh, just to name a few, with basically no development overhead. Uh, Amazon Cognito also supports uh, SAML and OIDC Connect partners, so you can leverage services like Okta uh, or Duo, or really most any enterprise identity solutions around today. Amazon Cognito is a very versatile customer identity solution, really catering to a wide range of use cases. Uh, it can help enhance customer engagement as well by offering flexible authentication options for users. For businesses, it also simplifies the management of those uh, business-to-business or B2B identities, ensuring secure access to application resources. Amazon Cognito can also support secure machine-to-machine -machine authentication facilitating seamless service interactions. Now, like most AWS services, uh, Amazon Cognito is tightly integrated with other AWS services, especially IAM. Uh, Cognito enables role-based access control for AWS resources through IAM, ensuring Cognito users have appropriate access to AWS resources as needed. Amazon Cognito also offers a hosted UI, um, which can save a ton of front-end development time. This pre-built authentication front-end UI uh, can be customized with your own logos and other branding styles, really giving a low overhead weight for developers to create a seamless authentication experience for your applications, uh, really without having to build everything from the ground up. Amazon Cognito is really designed to help developers deploy secure web and mobile apps uh, more efficiently, uh, really reducing the time and effort required to implement these robust authentication and authorization mechanisms. And that's it for this intro lesson on Amazon Cognito. Uh, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next lesson. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be exploring Amazon Detective. Now, imagine you're a detective, but instead of solving uh, typical mysteries, your job is to solve cloud security mysteries. Security threat detection in the cloud, or really any environment, uh, can be very complex and require highly specialized security experts to help monitor the environment and really understand what's unusual or not. And this is where Amazon Detective comes in. Amazon Detective is a service designed to help you analyze, investigate, and quickly identify the root cause of security issues or suspicious activities within your AWS environment. It automatically collects log data from your AWS resources and uses machine learning, statistical analysis, and graph theory to build a linked set of data that enables you to easily conduct faster and more efficient security investigations. Once the Amazon Detective Service is enabled, it begins aggregating and processing data from AWS CloudTrail and Amazon VPC flow logs, among other sources, uh, it then creates a visual interface that allows you to view this detailed interactive graphs of activity within your AWS environment. And this means you can see how resources are related to each other and how they interact over time, providing you with a comprehensive view of your security posture. Now, if we quickly talk about how Amazon Detective can be used in real-world scenarios, uh, for example, if there's a spike in traffic or a potential security breach, Amazon Detective can help you trace the origin of the issue. It can show you the relationship between the affected resources, helping you to quickly understand the scope of the issue and how different resources are interconnected. Another use case is investigating compromised user credentials. By analyzing patterns of behavior, Amazon Detective can help you identify when and how credentials were compromised. So the benefits of using Amazon Detective should be clear. Uh, first, it significantly reduces the time needed to investigate and respond to security issues. Uh, again, instead of combing through logs manually, you have this visual and interactive tool at your disposal. And then secondly, it enhances your security posture by providing detailed insights into your AWS environment's activity patterns, really helping you to proactively address these vulnerabilities. Uh, and then finally, Amazon Detective is just simply easy to use. 
uh, requiring no additional software infrastructure to manage. Uh, it's really a powerful security tool in your tool belt. So to summarize again, this Amazon detective service is like having a supercharged security detective on your team, uh, giving you the insights and visibility needed to protect your AWS environment effectively. So whether you're preparing for the AWS certifications or just looking to improve your cloud security posture of your AWS environments, understanding that this Amazon detective service exists and how to leverage it is really important to know. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me in this lesson. Keep the learning journey going and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're diving into the AWS Directory Service, a crucial component for managing identities, resources, and authentication in the AWS Cloud. So let's jump in. So AWS Directory Service is a AWS managed service that makes it easy to connect your AWS resources within an existing on-premises Microsoft Active Directory or to set up a new standalone directory in the AWS Cloud. This service can become the backbone of your cloud infrastructure identity management allowing your applications to use established directories for authentication, authorization, and management. At its core, the AWS Directory Service allows you to integrate AWS resources with your existing user credentials and directory information. And this just means you don't have to manage separate user accounts for AWS and your on-premises environments, um, greatly simplifying user access to AWS services and applications. It also supports various directory types, including AWS Managed Microsoft AD, uh, AD Connector, and Simple AD, each tailored to different use cases and requirements. Now, if we quickly look at some practical scenarios where AWS Directory Service shines, uh, for companies with an existing Microsoft Active Directory, using AD Connector allows you to easily connect your on-premises directory with AWS. This setup enables your users to access AWS services using their existing credentials, uh, just streamlining the whole login process and enhancing security. Another scenario is when you're building a new application in the cloud, I need a directory to manage users and permissions. Uh, AWS Manage Microsoft AD provides a highly available and scalable directory in AWS uh, managed by AWS, and this frees you from all the administrative overhead of setting up and maintaining your own directory infrastructure. So this AWS Managed AWS Directory service uh, greatly simplifies identity management across your AWS and on-premises environments reducing that administrative burden and improving security by ensuring a consistent application of access and management policies. The service also provides a lot of flexibility, allowing you to choose the directory setup that best fits your needs, uh, whether you're just extending an existing directory or creating a new one in the cloud. AWS Directory Service also integrates seamlessly with other AWS services, such as Amazon EC2 and Amazon RDS, enabling you to leverage AWS's full potential while maintaining a unified identity management system. So AWS Directory Service is a powerful tool for managing identities and integrating directory services in the cloud. Whether you're extending your on-premises directory to AWS or setting up a new cloud-native directory service, uh, AWS Directory Service offers a flexible, secure, and managed solution. Now, understanding how to leverage uh, AWS Directory Service is essential for architects really looking to design efficient, secure, and scalable cloud infrastructures. So thank you for joining me in this intro to AWS Directory Service. Uh, stay tuned for a later section of the course where we explore this and many other services in a lot more depth. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll start exploring AWS Firewall Manager, an important network security service for centralizing the management of fire firewall rules across an AWS environment. Now, AWS Firewall Manager simplifies applying and managing security policies across our AWS resources, ensuring a consistent security posture and also compliance. So let's explore AWS Firewall Manager a bit here, uh, understand its functionalities and uh, how it can be leveraged to enhance our cloud security. So AWS Firewall Manager is really designed to help us manage security policies across multiple AWS accounts and resources uh, with support for services like AWS Web Application Firewall, AWS Shield Advanced, and Amazon VPC security groups. Firewall Manager is especially helpful for organizations with multi-account AWS setups, 
enabling security administrators to apply consistent firewall rules across the entire organization from a, a single centralized interface. At its core, this AWS Firewall Manager service allows us to create security policies that can be automatically applied to all our AWS resources, uh, including new resources as soon as they're created. And this is really crucial for maintaining a strong security posture as an AWS environment grows and evolves over time. Uh, as an example, you can create a common set of AWS WAF rules to protect your web application from common web exploits and automatically apply these rules across all your accounts and resources. One of the key benefits of AWS Firewall Manager is its ability to streamline the management of security policies. Instead of having to configure firewall rules on a, a per resource or per account basis, you can define your policies once. And then in AWS Firewall Manager, uh, we can ensure that they're enforced everywhere. And this not only saves a ton of time, but uh, certainly reduces the risk of misconfigurations that could lead to different security vulnerabilities. Now, if we consider a practical scenario where AWS Firewall Manager proves invaluable, um, imagine an organization with multiple AWS accounts, uh, each of those containing several web applications. Managing AWS WAF rules for each application individually would be really time consuming and uh, potentially prone to a lot of errors. With AWS Firewall Manager, the organization can create a centralized set of WAF rules and automatically apply them to web applications across all the different accounts, ensuring consistent protection against web attacks. Another significant advantage of AWS Firewall Manager is its integration with AWS organizations. And this integration allows you to automatically apply policies to all your uh, accounts within the organization structure, making it even easier to manage security at scale especially in these large multi-count enterprise organizations. AWS Firewall Manager supports custom rules, enabling you to tailor your security policies to the specific needs of your organization. So in summary, AWS Firewall Manager is an essential tool for managing firewall rules, especially in large multi-count AWS environments. It really simplifies the application of security policies and helps ensure a consistent security posture across large organizations and helps protect our resources from potential threats. Um, and that's it for this intro lesson. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Welcome back. In this lesson, we're focusing in on another important security service from AWS called Amazon GuardDuty. Now, Amazon GuardDuty is a powerful threat detection service that provides you with detailed insights and alerts about potential security threats going on within your AWS environment. Amazon GuardDuty leverages machine learning, uh, anomaly detection, and integrated threat intelligence to help identify and uh, prioritize potential threats making it an essential tool for maintaining a strong security posture in the AWS cloud. For this introductory lesson, uh, let's explore how Amazon GuardDuty works a bit more and understand why it's a critical component of your AWS security strategy. So Amazon GuardDuty is designed to be easy to enable and doesn't require any additional hardware or software to worry about. It continuously monitors your account for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior by analyzing all your AWS CloudTrail event logs Amazon VPC flow logs and DNS logs. And this comprehensive analysis allows GuardDuty to detect a wide range of potential security issues, such as uh, compromised instances, uh, reconnaissance by attackers, and attempts to exfiltrate data. Now, one of the key strengths of Amazon GuardDuty is its use of machine learning and anomaly detection. And these technologies enable GuardDuty to identify unusual behavior that may indicate a security threat even if that behavior doesn't necessarily match up to any known threat signatures. Um, as an example, GuardDuty can detect when an EC2 instance is uh, communicating with a known malicious IP address, or when there's unusual uh, API call pattern that isn't typical for the uh, traffic pattern that's noticed in the past. And this could suggest some form of unauthorized access or malicious activity going on in the account. Now, let's consider a scenario where Amazon GuardDuty can be particularly beneficial. If we imagine we're running a large multi-account AWS environment with uh, hundreds of EC2 instances, S3 buckets, and other resources, uh, monitoring all these resources for potential security threats manually would be uh, nearly impossible, uh, especially if we just have a small security team to work with or perhaps no security team at all to uh, constantly monitor the environment. So with Amazon GuardDuty, you can automatically monitor all the activity across your AWS accounts and receive alerts about potential threats 
and take action to mitigate those threats before they could cause uh, significant damage. Amazon Guard Duty can enhance our security posture by providing automated continuous monitoring and threat detection. Uh, it also simplifies security operations by delivering detailed actionable security findings, uh, allowing our teams to focus on remediating the most critical issues first. Guard Duty is also a fully managed service by AWS, uh, meaning we benefit from AWS's continuously updated threat intelligence and uh, don't have to worry about managing additional security infrastructure components. So in summary, Amazon Guard Duty is an invaluable tool for anyone looking to enhance the security of their AWS accounts, providing us that uh, intelligent threat detection and continuous monitoring, helping us to identify and respond to potential security threats really quickly. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks again for joining me in this lesson on Amazon Guard Duty. And uh, I'll see you in the next lessons where we continue to explore even more AWS security and compliance services. Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll introduce the Cornerstone AWS service for securing AWS resources, identity and access management, or IAM. Understanding IAM is crucial for architecting secure, efficient systems on the cloud. And as a result, it's really important to understand for the AWS certification exams as well. Now, at its core, IAM allows you to manage uh, access to AWS services and resources securely. Uh, think of it as giving a unique key to every user, uh, application or service, allowing them to access only what they need and nothing more. This is similar to being the manager of a highly secure building where not everyone has the same access level. Uh, some might only need to reach the lobby, while others uh, might need to access more sensitive areas in the building. Uh, IAM applies these principles across AWS resources, ensuring that access is both approved and can be tailored exactly to the expected job role or function uh, that the user needs to perform. With IAM, you can create and manage AWS users, groups, and roles, uh, and then use permissions to allow and deny their uh, access to different AWS resources. These permissions can be incredibly detailed, allowing to define access at uh, very granular levels, uh, right down to the individual API calls. Um, and this granularity ensures that each user or service has exactly the right access they need, uh, again, no more or no less. So let's explore this a little bit more with a uh, practical use case. Uh, in certain AWS environments, you can use IAM to differentiate access between your uh, developers and your uh, operations team. Uh, for the developers, they may only need access to the uh, development environments and essential deployment tools. The operations team, on the other hand, may need uh, broader access, including the ability to manage uh, production environments and oversee the entire development lifecycle. Uh, this ensures that everyone has access to the tools and resources they need, without really overstepping onto sensitive areas that aren't relevant to their roles. For businesses concerned with compliance and auditing, uh, AWS IAM is a critical service. It enables detailed tracking and logging of user actions across your AWS environment. And this means you can see who accessed what resource, uh, when they accessed it, and what actions they actually performed. And this level of insight is critical for meeting uh, regulatory requirements providing auditors with the necessary information to verify your compliance. Another key aspect of IAM is its role in minimizing risk. By enforcing the principle of least privilege, uh, ensuring that individuals have only the access they need to perform their job, you greatly reduce the risk of unauthorized access or accidental changes to critical systems. And this can help prevent uh, data breaches and other security incidents that could jeopardize an organization's operations and reputation. AWS IAM is a service offered at no additional charge. Uh, this means you can implement robust security measures and access controls without incurring extra costs, making these granular security controls very accessible for businesses of all sizes. So to summarize, AWS IAM is the foundational AWS service for a secure, compliant, and efficient environment in AWS. Uh, it's about the precise control, uh, ensuring that the right people and services have the proper access at the right times, uh, backed by detailed logging and auditing capabilities. Understanding AWS IAM will help you build and maintain secure and efficient uh, cloud architectures and understand many of the AWS certification exam topics that you can expect to encounter along your certification journey. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks again for joining me in this lesson and uh, see you in the next one.
Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll continue to look at different security and compliance services for securing your cloud applications on AWS. Uh, this lesson here focuses on introducing Amazon Inspector. Amazon Inspector is an automated security assessment service for identifying vulnerabilities and ensuring compliance across your AWS applications. Amazon Inspector is designed to scan your AWS environment to find vulnerabilities or deviations from best practices. Imagine having a security expert uh, tirelessly examining your applications around the clock, uh, pinpointing areas that could expose you to cyber threats. Um, and that's basically what Amazon Inspector provides us. Uh, it automates the security assessment process, allowing AWS users to focus on building and deploying with that peace of mind. In the digital world we live in today, where security threats are constantly evolving, uh, a tool like Amazon Inspector can be a vital addition. It acts as your first line of defense and uh, identifying and reporting vulnerabilities uh, really before they can be exploited. Uh, and this proactive approach to security is really vital for maintaining the integrity of your applications. Operating Amazon Inspector is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you've deployed it, it continuously assesses your applications for vulnerabilities, uh, insecure configurations, and again, deviations from best practices. After each assessment, a detailed report of the findings is delivered to you, uh, ranked by uh, the security threat levels. Um, and this lets you prioritize and address the most critical issues first, uh, streamlining uh, your security efforts and focusing on, really on what matters most. Amazon Inspector is especially useful in a lot of different scenarios. Um, it offers continuous security assessments automatically, uh, evaluating your AWS resources as changes are made. Uh, and this is ideal for those dynamic environments where uh, constant updates are happening. Then for organizations with strict regulatory requirements, Amazon Inspector provides detailed findings supporting compliance with standards like PCI DSS and HIPAA. Integrating Amazon Inspector into your DevOps automation pipelines ensures that security assessments are part of your development and deployment processes, embedding security into your application's lifecycle right from the start. Amazon Inspector stands out for its simplicity and accessibility. It simplifies the process of conducting advanced security assessments, uh, making it achievable for organizations of any size to enhance their security posture without a significant investment in resources or expertise. So to wrap up here, uh, Amazon Inspector can be a crucial tool in your overall AWS security strategy. It simplifies the task of identifying vulnerabilities, helps with compliance reporting, and fits seamlessly into uh, typical application development workflows, providing a comprehensive security assessment solution. Uh, so that's it for this lesson, introducing the Amazon Inspector service and exploring some of its benefits. Uh, thanks for joining me and see you in the next one. Hello, and welcome to this intro lesson on the Amazon Key Management Service, or Amazon KMS. In this lesson, I'll introduce you to Amazon KMS and explore its key benefits for AWS customers. Amazon KMS is a managed service designed to simplify the creation and control of encryption keys to secure your data. It integrates seamlessly with a wide range of AWS services and provides a highly available and durable key management infrastructure that meet stringent security standards. So let's start to take a look at some of the key features of Amazon KMS that make it an essential tool for managing encryption keys. The first benefit I wanna talk about is centralized key management. Amazon KMS offers a centralized location for managing your encryption keys. And this simplifies the process of creating, uh, rotating, disabling, and auditing keys, ensuring your encryption strategy is both robust and manageable. For an example, you can use the AWS Management Console, uh, the AWS CLI, or AWS SDKs to handle your keys from a single point, uh, making the process very efficient and straightforward. The second benefit I'll mention here is seamless integration. Uh, Amazon KMS works effortlessly with many AWS services like uh, Amazon S3, uh, Amazon EBS, and Lambda. Uh, this is just to name a few. Uh, and this integration helps ensure that your data is automatically encrypted and decrypted as it's written and read, uh, really simplifying the whole encryption process. For instance, when storing data in Amazon S3, you can opt for encryption using uh, keys managed by KMS, meaning your data is automatically encrypted and decrypted during the upload and download 
uh, without any additional effort. A third benefit to be aware of is fine-grained access control. Uh, KMS allows you to define who can manage keys and who can use them for uh, encryption and decryption tasks. And this is all managed through AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM policies, uh, and key policies as well, providing precise control over key access. Uh, for example, you can create policies that allow uh, certain users to only encrypt data, but not decrypt it, uh, adding an extra layer of security for sensitive information. A fourth benefit is automated key rotation. Uh, Amazon KMS enables automatic rotation for your keys, ensuring that they're regularly updated without manual intervention. Um, and this enhances security by minimizing the risk of key compromise. Uh, for example, you can set a key rotation schedule to automatically rotate keys at a set schedule, ensuring your encryption keys are always up to date. Another benefit to mention is detailed logging and auditing. Uh, Amazon KMS integrates tightly with AWS CloudTrail to log all key management operations, providing a comprehensive audit trail of key usage and access. All this comes together to help you meet regulatory and compliance requirements. Uh, as an example, CloudTrail logs can track every time a key is used for encryption or decryption, offering a clear record for auditing purposes. Now the last benefit I'll get into for this intro lesson here is high availability and durability. Amazon KMS is built to be highly available and durable, ensuring that your keys are always accessible when you need it, and uh, even in the event of a failure. Uh, for example, uh, KMS replicates your keys across multiple availability zones within a region, uh, maintaining accessibility even if a uh, zone goes down. So to wrap things up, Amazon KMS provides a robust, integrated, and secure solution for managing your encryption keys. Uh, by leveraging its features, you can ensure that your data is protected to the highest standards while simplifying your overall key management. With centralized management, seamless integration, uh, fine-grained access controls, the uh, automated key rotations, detailed logging, the high availability, uh, Amazon KMS is a powerful tool for any organization looking to secure data in the cloud. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much for joining me in this lesson about Amazon KMS. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Hello and welcome to this intro lesson on Amazon Macy. In this lesson, I'll introduce you to Amazon Macy and explore a few of its key benefits. Amazon Macy is a fully managed data security and data privacy service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and protect your sensitive data in AWS. It really helps you understand your data security posture by identifying and classifying sensitive data such as personally identifiable information, or PII, and other financial data. So let's dive into some of the key features of Amazon Macy that make it an essential tool for managing data security and privacy. The first key feature to discuss is its automated data discovery and classification. Amazon Macy automatically discovers and classifies sensitive data stored in Amazon S3. Uh, it uses machine learning and different uh, pattern matching capabilities to identify data such as names, addresses, uh, credit card numbers, and other PII. Uh, and this automated process helps you quickly identify where your sensitive data is stored, uh, reducing the manual effort required for data classification. Another feature to be aware of is its continuous monitoring capabilities. Amazon Macy continuously monitors your Amazon S3 buckets for sensitive data. And this ongoing surveillance ensures that new or modified data is promptly identified and classified. Uh, as an example, if uh, new files containing sensitive information are added to an Amazon S3 bucket, uh, Macy will automatically detect and classify them, helping you maintain an up-to-date understanding of your data security posture. A uh, third benefit to understand is its detailed security and compliance reporting. Amazon Macy provides comprehensive reports that summarize findings and highlight potential security risks. And these reports can help you meet regulatory and compliance requirements uh, by providing detailed insights to where the sensitive data resides and how it's being managed. Now, as an example of this, Amazon Macy's dashboards and alerts can show you the types of sensitive data and where they can be found and the buckets they reside in, and any uh, potential policy violations as well. A fourth benefit to consider is the uh, fine-grained access controls. 
Amazon Macy integrates with AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, uh, to provide that precise control over who can access and manage sensitive data findings. You can create uh, IAM policies that define which users or roles can view the Macy findings, ensuring that only authorized personnel have access to that sensitive information. Another significant benefit is its integration with other AWS security services. Amazon Macy integrates with other AWS security services, uh, such as AWS CloudTrail, uh, Amazon GuardDuty, and AWS Security Hub. Um, and this integration allows you to aggregate all your security findings and streamline your security operations. For example, you can send Amazon Macy findings to AWS Security Hub and correlate those with other security data, providing you that holistic view of your security posture. Now, the last benefit I'll go over in this intro lesson here is scalability and flexibility. Uh, Amazon Macy is designed to scale with your data storage needs. Now, whether you have a few S3 buckets or thousands of them, Amazon Macy can handle the data discovery and classification processes efficiently. Uh, and this scalability ensures that as your data grows, uh, Amazon Macy remains a reliable tool for managing data security and privacy. So to wrap up this intro lesson, uh, Amazon Macy provides a robust, automated, and scalable solution for discovering and protecting your sensitive data in AWS. By leveraging its features, you can enhance your data security posture, meet compliance requirements, and reduce the risk of data breach impacts. With automated data discovery and continuous monitoring, detailed reporting, uh, fine-grained access control, and then integration with other AWS security services and its scalability, uh, Amazon Macy is a powerful tool for helping understand and secure data stored in AWS. Uh, and that's it. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this lesson on Amazon Macy, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back. In this lesson, I'll introduce you to the AWS Network Firewall and explore its key features and benefits this managed service provides. So AWS Network Firewall is a managed service designed to deploy essential network protections for all of your Amazon virtual private clouds or VPCs. And it's easy to set up with just a few clicks and really scales automatically with your network traffic, ensuring that you don't have to manage additional infrastructure components. So Let's start to dive into some of the key features of AWS Network Firewall that make it an essential tool for enhancing network security. The first main feature of AWS Network Firewall is high availability and automated scaling. Uh, AWS Network Firewall offers built-in redundancies to ensure all traffic is consistently inspected and monitored. And it's a highly reliable service with an uptime commitment of four nines. Uh, and the service can automatically scale its throughput capacity based on traffic load maintaining steady performance and minimizing your costs. The second benefit, which is really core to any good firewall solution, is its stateful firewall capabilities. And this feature takes into account the context of traffic flows for more granular policy enforcement. Uh, you can write thousands of firewall rules based on uh, source and destination IP, uh, source and destination port, and uh, different protocols, enabling detailed control over your network traffic. Now, a third benefit to be aware of is its web filtering capabilities. AWS Network Firewall supports inbound and outbound web filtering for unencrypted traffic and uses a server name indication or SNI for blocking access to specific sites with encrypted traffic as well. And this helps ensure that your network is protected from malicious web traffic. A fourth benefit to be aware of is its intrusion prevention system or IPS capabilities. The IPS provides real-time network and application layer protections against vulnerability exploits and brute force attacks. It uses signature-based detection to match traffic patterns to known threat signatures, enhancing your network security. Another benefit to be aware of is detailed alert and flow logs. AWS Network Firewall provides detailed logs for both alerts and flow information. And these logs can be stored in Amazon S3, uh, Amazon Kinesis, and Amazon CloudWatch helping you to maintain a comprehensive record of network traffic and security events. Now, the last benefit I'll go over for this intro lesson is the uh, central management and visibility. AWS Network Firewall integrates tightly with the uh, AWS Firewall Manager service that I introduced earlier. Um, and used together, these services enable you to 
essentially deploy and manage security policies across your applications, VPCs, and accounts. Uh, and this centralized approach helps you scale enforcement and maintain consistent security posture across your entire AWS organization. So to wrap things up, uh, AWS Network Firewall is an automated and scalable solution for enhancing network security. By leveraging its features, you can help ensure your network traffic is thoroughly inspected and protected against threats. With high availability, uh, automated scaling, uh, stateful firewall capabilities, uh, web filtering, intrusion prevention, detailed logging, uh, the central management, and uh, even more features I didn't get into in this uh, intro lesson here, uh, AWS Network Firewall is a powerful firewall solution to secure your AWS network infrastructure. Thank you for joining me in this lesson on AWS Network Firewall, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll take a look at AWS Resource Access Manager, or AWS RAM. Uh, continuing on with the intro theme of this entire section here, uh, I'll again just touch on what the service is and a few of its features and benefits to be aware of. Now, AWS RAM is a service that helps you securely share your AWS resources across multiple AWS accounts. This service enables you to efficiently manage resource sharing without needing to duplicate resources in every account. So let's take a quick look at some of the key features of AWS RAM that make it a essential tool for resource sharing management. First off, the core function of AWS RAM is secure resource sharing. AWS RAM allows you to share resources such as your Amazon VPC subnets, AWS Transit Gateway, and Amazon Route 53 resolver rules with any AWS account, uh, organizational unit, or OU, or uh, your entire organization and AWS organizations. Uh, and this eliminates the need to provision and manage duplicate resources, uh, reducing the complexity and, of course, cost. A second benefit to discuss is its fine-grained access control. AWS RAM integrates with AWS Identity and Access Management to provide that precise control over who can access shared resources. You can define policies that specify which accounts, uh, roles, or users can access specific resources and what actions they can take or perform. Uh, as an example, you can allow specific teams within your organization to use a shared VPC subnet without giving them full administrative privileges. A third benefit to mention is its centralized management. AWS RAM provides a central interface to manage all your resource sharing activities. You can easily uh, update, uh, create, and delete resource shares using the uh, AWS Management Console, the uh, AWS CLI, and the uh, AWS SDKs as well. Uh, and this centralized approach simplifies the management of shared resources across multiple accounts. Another benefit to mention is uh, managed permissions. Uh, AWS RAM offers AWS managed permissions that are pre-configured to grant appropriate levels of access for common scenarios. And these managed permissions simplify the setup process by providing you a set of predefined permissions that can be used really out of the box. Um, so for a quick example, when sharing a, a VPC subnet again, uh, you can use one of these managed permissions to ensure that uh, only network administrators can modify subnet settings. Another benefit I'll mention is visibility and monitoring. Uh, AWS RAM integrates with uh, AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch, providing that detailed login and monitoring of resource sharing activities. Uh, CloudTrail logs all the uh, API calls made by AWS RAM, providing that comprehensive audit trail of resource sharing actions. CloudWatch can then trigger uh, events based on changes to resource shares, allowing you to stay informed about any modifications. Now, the last benefit I'll go over for this intro lesson is its scalability and flexibility. Uh, AWS RAM is designed to scale with your needs, uh, really supporting uh, resource sharing across multiple accounts and regions. So, you know, whether you're sharing just a few resources or managing uh, complex resource sharing configurations across a large multi-account organization, uh, AWS RAM can handle the scale and complexity of your environment. So to wrap things up, uh, AWS RAM provides a secure and flexible solution for sharing AWS resources across accounts. By leveraging its features, you can reduce the complexity and cost of managing these duplicate resources, ensuring precise access control, and maintaining visibility and monitoring 
of all the resource sharing activities. Uh, thanks again for joining me in this lesson on AWS Resource Access Manager, and see you in the next lesson. Hello, and welcome to this quick intro lesson on AWS Secrets Manager. Uh, in this session, I'll introduce you to AWS Secrets Manager and just touch on a few of its key benefits the service offers. So AWS Secrets Manager is a service that helps you protect access to your applications, uh, services, and IT resources without the upfront cost and complexity of managing your own hardware security module or HSM or paying for a third-party service. It really enables you to securely store, manage, and retrieve secrets, such as your database credentials, uh, API keys, or other sensitive information. So let's dive into some of the key features of AWS Secrets Manager that uh, make it a really essential tool for managing your secrets in AWS. So the fundamental benefit this service offers is secure secret storage. Uh, AWS Secrets Manager encrypts secrets at rest using encryption keys that you manage through the uh, AWS Key Management Service, or KMS. So when you retrieve a secret, uh, Secrets Manager decrypts it and transmits it securely over uh, TLS to your local environment. And this ensures that your sensitive information is protected both at rest and in transit. Another great feature of this service is automatic secrets rotation. With AWS Secrets Manager, you can automatically rotate your secrets on a preset schedule or on demand as well. Uh, and this helps reduce the risk of your secrets being compromised. Secrets Manager supports rotating credentials for uh, services like Amazon RDS, Amazon Redshift, and Amazon DocumentDB, just to name a few. And you can also extend uh, Secrets Manager to rotate your secrets for other AWS or third-party services using AWS Lambda functions. Now, a third benefit to be aware of is its automatic replication of secrets. AWS Secrets Manager can automatically replicate your secrets to multiple AWS regions uh, to help meet your disaster recovery and cross-regional redundancy requirements. And this just means you don't have to manually uh, manage that replication process, ensuring that your secrets are always uh, available uh, when and where you need them. Now, another huge benefit of this service is the uh, programmatic retrieval of secrets. AWS Secrets Manager provides APIs that allow you to retrieve these secrets programmatically and this makes it easy to integrate secrets retrieval into your applications. Uh, so you can retrieve a, a single secret or a group of secrets based on your different uh, specified criteria. And additionally, you can configure VPC endpoints to keep traffic between your VPC and the uh, secrets manager service within the AWS network itself, improving security and performance. Another benefit of the service is its ability to audit and monitor your secrets usage. Uh, AWS Secrets Manager integrates tightly with AWS uh, CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch to really provide you that detailed logging and monitoring of your secrets usage. This can help you maintain that uh, comprehensive record of how your secrets are accessed and used. And this is essential for meeting all those different uh, regulatory and compliance requirements. For a quick example, you can set up uh, CloudWatch to trigger alerts when a secret is accessed or uh, if a secret remains unused for a specified period of time. Now, the last benefit I'll go over for this intro lesson is compliance. Uh, AWS Secrets Manager helps you meet various compliance requirements, including those for uh, HIPAA, uh, that PCI DSS, and uh, different SOC controls. Um, and you can use AWS config rules to verify that your secrets are configured in accordance with your organization's security and compliance standards. So to wrap things up, uh, AWS Secrets Manager provides a secure and automated solution for managing your secrets. By leveraging all its features, you can enhance the security of your sensitive information, uh, simplify secrets management, and really ensuring compliance with different regulatory requirements as well. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to take those uh, little breaks as you're going through the lessons, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back and great work so far. 
Uh, I know there's a lot of these AWS services to cover in the security compliance category for the SAA exam scope. And really, we're flying through them at a pretty quick pace here, just doing some introductions at this stage. But uh, just stick with it and trust that soon you'll understand what all these services do and really how to combine them all to build real-world solutions. Um, so with that, let's keep going and uh, take a look at AWS Security Hub this time. So let's start to look at some of the key features of AWS Security Hub that make it a great tool for enhancing your cloud security. Now, the first thing to note about AWS Security Hub is it provides continuous monitoring. Uh, AWS Security Hub performs continuous security checks based on uh, best practices and different industry standards. It uses a set of predetermined security controls to assess your AWS resources and provide you with detailed findings. Uh, and this can help you identify and address security gaps in real time. Another key feature of this service is its security finding aggregation capabilities. Uh, security Hub automatically aggregates security findings from various AWS services like Amazon GuardDuty, uh, AWS Config, uh, Amazon Macy, and also other third-party partner products. And these findings are uh, standardized into a common format, making it easier for you to manage and prioritize security issues across your AWS environment. Now, a third benefit to be aware of is its automated response and remediation capabilities. Uh, AWS Security Hub integrates with AWS Lambda and Amazon EventBridge to enable automated responses to security findings. Uh, you can create custom workflows that trigger specific actions based on these findings. Uh, it can notify you and your security teams. Um, you can uh, update IAM policies uh, or even help isolate compromised resources. Yet another benefit to mention is its uh, security posture visualization. AWS Security Hub provides dashboards and reports that offer a clear visualization of your security posture. So you can view aggregated findings, uh, compliance scores, and different trends over time, helping you make informed decisions about your overall security strategy. Another feature the uh, service offers is compliance management. Uh, security Hub helps you monitor and manage compliance with various industry standards and regulatory frameworks. Uh, these are things like the uh, CIS, uh, AWS Foundations Benchmark, uh, PCI DSS, and uh, GKPR as well. And it provides detailed mapping capabilities to these different frameworks, helping you demonstrate compliance. Now, the last benefit I'll go over for this intro lesson is its integration with AWS organizations. Uh, AWS Security Hub supports integration with AWS organizations, allowing you to manage security findings and compliance scores across multiple AWS accounts from a central location. And this is really useful for large enterprises that have uh, complex uh, multi-account environments. So to quickly wrap things up, uh, just remember that AWS Security Hub is really helping you provide that centralized and automated solution for managing your overall security posture. Um, and that's it for this lesson. Uh, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Hello, and welcome to this intro lesson on AWS Shield. Uh, in this lesson, I'll introduce you to AWS Shield, and we'll start to explore some of its benefits. So AWS Shield is a managed distributed denial of service, or a DDoS, protection service. And this helps safeguard your applications running on AWS. It provides always-on detection and automatic inline mitigations that minimize application downtime and latency, uh, ensuring continuous availability and performance of your applications. Now, the AWS Shield service comes in two different flavors. There's AWS Shield Standard, uh, which is available to all AWS customers and uh, enabled by default at no cost. Uh, and then AWS Shield Advanced, which has enhanced capabilities and additional features that I'll touch on. Now, the main benefit of AWS Shield, of course, is its automatic DDoS protection. Uh, AWS Shield Standard provides automated protection against the most common DDoS attacks at no additional cost. It uses network flow monitoring and these uh, inline mitigations to detect and mitigate attacks, ensuring that your applications remain available and performant even during an attack. Now, as I mentioned, uh, AWS Shield offers a whole other level of protection called AWS Shield Advanced. So for more sophisticated protection, AWS Shield Advanced offers enhanced detection and mitigation capabilities, uh, detailed attack diagnostics, and uh, cost protection against scaling charges during a DDoS attack. 
AWS Shield Advanced also provides you with 24-7 access to the AWS DDoS response team. Uh, and this gets you access to expert help for assistance with an attack mitigation. Now, a third benefit to be aware of is its uh, real-time visibility and reporting. Uh, AWS Shield provides real-time metrics and reports through AWS CloudWatch, uh, enabling you to monitor and analyze DDoS events. And this can help you understand the nature of the attacks and really make informed decisions about your overall security posture. Now, a benefit to keep in mind with AWS Shield Advanced is the cost protection. Uh, with AWS Shield Advanced, you're protected against the increased costs that can result from a DDoS attack. Uh, AWS actually covers the uh, scaling charges for uh, Amazon EC2, your uh, Elastic Load Balancers, uh, Amazon CloudFront, and AWS Global Accelerator uh, that can result from a, a DDoS attack and handling all that extra traffic. Now, another benefit, like most AWS services, is it's tightly integrated with other security services. Uh, AWS Shield integrates seamlessly with other AWS security services like uh, AWS WAF, AWS Firewall Manager, and AWS CloudFront, providing a comprehensive security solution. Uh, and this integration allows you to create custom security rules and different policies to help protect your applications from a wide range of DDoS threats. Now, the last feature I'll go over here is the uh, Global Threat Environment Dashboard. AWS Shield Advanced provides access to this uh, Global Threat Environment Dashboard, and it offers insights into the most significant DDoS attacks going on around the world. And this can help you stay informed about the current threat landscape and proactively address your security measures. So to wrap up this lesson, uh, just remember AWS Shield's providing you with that automated and scalable DDoS protection for your AWS applications. By leveraging its features, you can ensure the uh, continuous availability and performance reducing the uh, financial impact of DDoS attacks, and helping you maintain that real-time visibility into your security posture. Um, and that's it for this lesson on AWS Shield. Uh, thanks for watching and see you the next one. Welcome back. In this lesson, I'll cover AWS Identity Center. Uh, AWS Identity Center is uh, formerly known as uh, AWS Single Sign-On or AWS SSO. And it's a, a cloud-based service that provides centralized access management for AWS accounts and applications. It helps you uh, securely manage your uh, user identities and simplify access controls across your entire AWS environment. So let's touch on a few of the key features of AWS Identity Center that uh, make it a great service for helping you with your identity and access management. Now, the core benefit of this AWS service is centralized identity management. Uh, AWS Identity Center allows you to manage identities for users in a central place, providing seamless access to multiple AWS accounts and applications. And this eliminates the need to maintain separate user accounts in each AWS account, uh, reducing complexity and improving security. Now, another core benefit this service brings is uh, single sign-on or SSO access. AWS Identity Center provides SSO access to AWS accounts and other third-party applications through its uh, different integration capabilities like uh, Microsoft 365 and Slack, just to name a few. Um, and this means users can sign in once and gain access to all their assigned applications and just improving the overall user experience and productivity. Now, another key feature this service brings is its integration with existing directories. Uh, AWS Identity Center integrates with Microsoft Active Directory, uh, services like uh, Okta and Pin Identity, uh, Jump Cloud, uh, and then the Microsoft Entra ID, which I think was uh, formerly Azure AD. Uh, and this allows you to use your existing directory infrastructure for your uh, user management and authentication and simplify the whole setup experience. Another feature this service brings is the uh, multi-factor authentication or MFA capabilities. Uh, AWS Identity Center supports MFA, adding an extra layer of security to the sign-in process. You can enforce MFA for users to ensure that only authorized individuals can access your AWS resources and applications. Now, the last benefit I'll go over for this uh, intro lesson here is the audit and compliance capabilities. AWS Identity Center provides detailed logs for user activities, helping you meet compliance requirements and audit access to your AWS resources. And all these logs can be integrated with uh, AWS CloudTrail and Amazon CloudWatch for 
additional monitoring and analysis. So to quickly summarize, uh, AWS Identity Center provides you that centralized and secure solution for managing your identities and access across your AWS environment. By leveraging some of its uh, core features, you can simplify identity management, improve your uh, user experience, and enhance security as well. And that's it for this lesson on AWS Identity Center. Uh, thanks for watching again, and see you in the next one. Welcome back. In this intro lesson, we'll explore the AWS Web Application Firewall, or AWS WAF. AWS WAF is a web application firewall that helps protect your web applications and APIs from common web exploits and bots. These threats can affect application availability, uh, compromise security, and consume excess resources as well. AWS WAF provides control over how traffic reaches your applications by allowing you to create security rules that filter web requests based on all kinds of various conditions. So AWS WAF provides customizable web security rules. And these rules enable you to create custom rules that define how you uh, filter and monitor your HTTP and HTTPS requests. These rules can be based on conditions using IP addresses, uh, HTTP headers, the uh, HTTP body section, and uh, different URI strings. These rules can also help filter uh, SQL injection and uh, cross-site scripting attacks. All this granularity and customization of the firewall rules helps you protect your applications from a variety of threats. Now, a great benefit of AWS WAF are the pre-configured managed rules. AWS WAF provides managed rules, which are pre-configured rule sets maintained by AWS and uh, AWS Marketplace sellers. Uh, and these rules are designed to uh, protect against common threats and can be deployed quickly to help secure your applications without really needing that uh, deep security expertise to uh, create them from scratch. AWS WAF also provides bot control. Uh, AWS WAF includes these uh, bot control capabilities that allow you to monitor, uh, block, or rate limit uh, these common and pervasive bots. And this helps you manage your overall bot traffic, which can consume resources and affect your application performance. AWS WAF also integrates seamlessly with services like uh, Amazon CloudFront, your AWS application load balancers, and uh, AWS API Gateway. And this integration provides a comprehensive protection and uh, simplifies the deployment of security measures across various layers of your AWS infrastructure. Another feature to mention for AWS WAF is its uh, real-time visibility and logging. Uh, AWS WAF offers real-time visibility into your uh, web traffic and security events. You can monitor metrics and set up uh, CloudWatch alarms to receive notifications about specific threats or different traffic patterns. Additionally, uh, detailed logging can be enabled to analyze these web requests and responses for uh, different auditing and compliance purposes as well. So wrapping up this lesson, uh, just remember that AWS WAF provides a customizable and scalable solution for protecting your web applications and APIs. By leveraging its features, you can ensure your applications are secure from common web exploits and bots, uh, helping you maintain high availability and uh, improve performance. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this rapid fire introduction to AWS WAF and the many other security and governance related services AWS offers in this section of the course. Uh, again, great job so far. Uh, let's keep going and I'll see you in the next one.